Major Slack videos. Yo, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Elden Ring Samurai. And before you take on Commander Neal here in Castle Sol, Commander Neal, N I E L L. I'm presuming that's pronounced Neal. Niall, I didn't look it up. I didn't look it up. So sue me. Uh, before we take him on, uh, we should um, start the Latena quest line. Otherwise, we'll miss out on a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. So, let's go down to the scenic isle here in Lyernia of the Lakes, and we'll kick it off from there. And wait till daytime. Okay, we're going into a dark cave filled with demi-humans, all easily manageable. So let's put on our Blasphemous Blade. And we're going to need a source of a light. So, um, the torch. Make sure you got the no-skill uh, Ash of War on it. And for the boss fight, let's hook up the Dragon Communion Seal. And our carry weight, our equipment load is nice and low, so we can afford to put on our best armor, which would be, of course, the Banished Knight gear. Can we put it all on? Let's see. Nope, that'll put us in heavy load. So let's drop the gauntlets down to Lame Dell Knight gauntlets. Still heavy load. Exile Gauntlet, and they'll give us uh, 33 damage negation, and we can take this out, put on this. There you go, 42 physical damage negation. That is acceptable. That's all we need. Okay, so we're going to the Lakeside Crystal Cave. From this location, you're seeing a guy will go due south, and on the shore, you see this kind of like this rocky sliver right here. You can put a beacon at the right end of that sliver, right? Boom, there. All right, that's where we're going. Probably want to dodge around an octopus hanging out, out here. Unless you want to take it out. And head straight towards your beacon. Okay, we can put on the lantern, but that's not really enough light. Let's use our torch as well. And into the lakeside crystal cave we go. Alright, get yourself an arterial leaf from this chest here. And we're just going to work our way around the left perimeter, all the way around the cave. Watch out for the right side. There is a bit of a step. <laughs> And just whack all these demi humans one by one. You don't have to do anything special. Simple light attack will do. And like I said, stick to the left side as you work your way around. Kill anything that moves. Okay, and down this little tunnel here. Oh wow, seriously? <laughs> what the hell, Slack? Sorry about that, Sammy. I didn't know he was going to grab you like that.
And the Spear Talisman gives bonus damage to counterattacks that interrupt the enemy's attack in motion. For example, if the enemy is in the process of attacking you, the Spear Talisman will give you bonus damage if you manage to hit him at that point. There you go. Enhances the counter attacks that are unique to thrusting weapons. I don't think you actually need to have a thrusting weapon to make this work. You have to look that up in my uh, official game guide. Okay, we're good to go. I could be wrong, I'm just guessing. Going by memory. But it does give you bonus damage if you um, interrupt the attack of an enemy. Okay, so this is where we continue. Carefully drop down here. Go to the left, drop down here. Turn around. Get drop down here. And this is snail country. Bad snail. These guys are sitting ducks. <laughs> okay, looks like we got a ledge here that we can safely drop down to. Easy now, easy, 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 and good. Soft cotton. Smithing stone four, smithing stone two, smithing stone two, I says. And maybe a couple more snails before the boss fight. Nice try. Done and done. And here is the boss fight. This will pay uh, 4,000 runes, I believe. I don't think it's worth a gold pickle file foot, but let's take the uh, Flask of Wonders Physic. Golden Bow. Flame Grant Me Strength. It's basically a Bloodhound's Knight. Best thing to do is um, use guard counter. If you try to like throw anything at him or you know any kind of leaping attack, he's gonna dodge out of the way. So let's just inch in so we can get uh, Banished Knight angle out or Banished Knight. Oh, there we go. Refill FP. Lock on. Shield up. No problemo. No problemo. And for that we earned something that we already have a better version of. But that's not the reason why we did this. The reason why we did this is to come out here and talk to this individual here. Latena. And before we do that, let's get a Trina's Lily over here. 
and a rune arc over here. Tenna, what's happening? Tarnished. What do you want? I told the all hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? We have the secret medallion. Oh. Do you speak true? I do indeed. So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. <sighs> then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do, even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallions of the half. Okay. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the Forbidden Lands, north of the Earth Tree, in Castle Sol. On the mountain tops of the giants, accessible by the grand lift of Rold. Castle Sol. How convenient. We just went through there. Anything else? Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the tarnished, so that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Okay, and for this you get rewarded with Latena the Albanoric. Upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. Spirit Ash. And very unusual Spirit Ash. She doesn't move when you spawn her. She just stays in place. She's an archer. For example. Where can we go? Let's go to um Gate Friend. Ash remains in which the spirits yet dwell, used to summon the spirit of Latena the Albanoric, a rare case of one who chose to become a spirit voluntarily. Latena was renowned as a deft magic archer, but having lost her beloved wolf companion Lobo, she cannot move from the place where she was summoned. Huh, how about that? Well, let's test her out. Hey, buddy. Okay, so it looks like your magic arrows are easily blocked by a shield. Seems to have spectacular range. Let's test out. Uh, first of all, let's do in uh, this guy here. Amazing range. You seeing this, people? Fantastic range. This is nuts. This is the first time I really uh, fooled around there. That is nuts. I love it. She's definitely worth upgrading.
Let's test the extreme of her of her range. How far will it go? You see this people? Interesting. So if anybody has a shield, you can draw them out of the way and uh, make the very interesting. Okay, draw him out of the way. Draw him this way so that the, her arrows hit his back. That is a spectacular range. That is nuts. That is nuts. That would be very useful. You are definitely getting some loving. Let's take you to the round table and show you some loving, Latena. I want some loving. Yeah, we're going to give you some loving. No. Upgrade you. I'm sure it's going to cost an arm and a leg. Probably ghost glovers. Are you here for spirit? That's what I thought. Okay, let me just look at the resources here. I'm sure, some of my ghost glovers are limited. Okay, so we have eight ones, five twos, and only one three. Three fours, one five. I'm sure, we can get some more threes. So let's upgrade her to plus four. Not sure um, at this point how abundant Ghost Glover's fives are. I'll have to look that up. Greetings. Are you here for? And we're out of money. I can be easily fixed. What a maroon. <laughs> However, a very effective and lucrative maroon. Greeting, you have for... Boy, they make you pay through the nose for this one, eh? Okay, so like I said, um, my supply of Ghost Glovers starts to run a little slim once it gets above 5. So they only got 1, 5, 1, 6, and I'm missing 7, have an 8, and oddly enough I have 2 nines. Okay, so I'm going to have to do a, a little research on that. Uh, look up in my game guide and on the Vex for Life wiki 
and see how easily accessible those items are. That's it for this video. Coming up next, we're going to go back to Castle Saul. Um, I have a lot of money on me. Hmm. This boss fight is going to be absolutely hellacious. Manageable, manageable, but um, for some of you, I'd strongly recommend uh, spending all your money. So I was working on a supply of smithing stones for the next upgrade. I need five threes and eleven fours. many fives as they can buy, which would be five. Down to 492 runes. Can never have too many arrows. Overkill. Like, super overkill. Ah, always. That'll do it. Down to our last four runes. We have nothing to lose except a rune arc. This isn't all that bad though. It, I've, I've done it like maybe about uh, half a dozen times now this fight. Let's get you set up for it. So if we can just run straight in. I want to put this in a separate video so that people can easily find it. Mr. Laptop, how do I get set up for Commander Commander Neil? The Blasphemous Blade, the Stone Shield, the DC Seal. Take that out. Dragon Communion Seal. Um, Banished Knight Helm, that's correct. Armor. Breeze. And the Lanedale Knight Gauntlets. Dragon Crest Shield, that's correct. And the stalwart horn charm. This guy here to protect against frostbite. We're in medium load. That's good. Don't need that. Wondrous physic. Opaline hard tier and his stance can be easily broken so I would recommend putting in the stone barb cracked tier to enhance the number of times that he can, we can break his stance because we definitely want to put him under control and for flasks we could easily get away with I'd say heavy on the health so 7 HP and 6 FP And that's it. We're going to start by buffing up, buffing up with Golden Vow, switch over to Flame Grammy Strength, refill that B. Anyways, I'll explain all that first thing next video. So, yep. Oh, yeah, make sure you got a Gold Pickle Foul Foot ready to go. What can we put here? Throw some volcano pots at him just to piss him off. 
Um, or <laughs> more useful would be um, yeah, these. These might be the best choice. Although typically when you get frostbite, it's pretty much too late. But yeah, that's probably the best thing. Okay, so that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Major Slack, and I approve this video. If you do, too, please give the old Slacks your big old thumbs up, post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, see you next time for the Commander Neal boss fight. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.